Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Um, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have... Uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already you know drop me a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me so uh i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and if you feel like it's you know it gives you a good uplift or give you some insight that you truly need it you may know somebody who may need to hear that as well please go ahead and share it's greatly appreciated so the video i'm doing today it's called uh, Stay Woke. This appointment is all, will always lead you to discovery. That is so true. You know, um, like since I've been doing my little sit back, I'm going to say it's look, my little kickback, put it that way. You know, just being able to see things from all directions. You know, you're, you're discovering yourself. You're going through a lot of emotions. You're allowing yourself to feel everything that you're going through. Just going through and looking at life from a, a, a corrective you know, corrective criticism as in a vibe, you know, because you can always take corrective criticism from somebody. Sometimes it depends on what it is because, you know, it's always good to do corrective criticism, but there's sometimes a lot of people don't like it, you know, but it's just like, how would you ever learn if you don't go through different things, you know, um, and I love, it's just like, there's a lot of different videos I've been watching lately and it get, you know, just like y'all talking about Rosalind, I needed to hear that today and there'll be a lot of different videos I need to hear that too. You know, it's just like, oh, I needed to hear that. Oh, you know, and that's so true. You know, and it's just like a lot of times. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. It's like I'm sitting up here using my my cleansing smoke, you know, to go ahead and clear it. <laughs> and, you know, you have to go through a lot of disappointment in your life. You know, if you have your life planned and everything goes the way it is, how would you ever discover anything? You wouldn't really discover you know where where your drive is you know where your strength is where your where your persistence is you know because a lot of you know going through these spiritual awakenings has been crazy you know you constantly going through shadow work even when you don't realize you're going through it because sometimes universe is going to force you because sometimes we don't realize how long you've been keeping a hold of something how long you've been focused on the same thing how long you've been talking about the same thing you keep allowing yourself to go through the same recycle you know sequences circumstances thought process you know you are you still focusing on what somebody did to you are you still focused on what you didn't say are you still focused on what you didn't say you know are you focused if you didn't go left when you should have went right you know, you should have closed the door and said, you know, you always constantly left the door open. You had to go through these things and you have to be appreciative of those things. You know, that's why it was just like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I've been, you know, just allowing myself just to reflect on. And it's just like it came to that point where are you going to allow things to keep beating you up? Are you going to keep beating yourself up for things that happen? If they happen, there was a lesson that needed to happen. You know, because there's a lot of times where we can say, we wish we never met this person, or I wish I would have knew then what I knew now. You didn't know then what you knew now. That's the reason why you went through it. You know, because there's a lot of times when you can go through stuff and you can want to erase different things that you went through your life, but you don't want to erase the lessons that attach to those disappointments. You know, you go through different things, you know, and it's just like a lot of times you, you go through disappointment within your family members, your friends, your co-workers, your brothers, your sisters, your wives, your husbands, your, your you know, uh, family. If I don't, I don't know if I said that or not, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your life partners, you know, all these different things. And it's like instead of allowing those things to make you bitter, it's supposed to be able to make you better. But it's up to that choice on you and your mindset. Are you going to allow these things to help you discover something within yourself and it was like i was listening to um one of uh the other people that do videos like me and they said you know when you meet people 
you know, they leave, they love, they learn, you know, you, you do all these things and they leave and they always teach you, it always leads you right back to something that was always there. It's always reminding you of what was there because it's like you even, you know, I've, I've talked about it in chats. I even said it in different videos. There's a lot of times, even when y'all have dropped comments like Rosalind, why do we always attract narcissistic people, toxic people, you know, um, sociopaths psychopaths we they are there they are our worst nightmare as we are theirs you know because it's just a lot of times when, when you when you stay focused on that because i've seen a lot of different videos when they talk about that stuff i'm like oh lord if you ain't speaking the truth and i say i ain't getting into that because i said i'm not gonna be doing that no more i was like i ain't gonna get into it unless god is lead me to do that or spirits lead me to say stuff like that then we'll talk about it but this ain't that time but then it'll be just, it'll give me that aha moment because you're going through a lot of that. Right now, you finding your purpose. You're already probably on your purpose, but it's like, it's melt, it, it, you know how they always tell you, keep coming up for yourself. Keep showing up for yourself because you are creating that best version of yourself through those life lessons of disappointment, through the life plus, uh, lef lessons of discovery, destruction, domination. You know, delusions, illusions, lies, truth. You know, you're going through that because you're discovering. When you meet people, when you connect people, when you're on that path. You know, you don't know where this purpose is going to lead you to tomorrow. You only know about today. And half of the time, you only know about it, you know, minute by minute, hour by hour. You know, and then it can, it can totally go left, it can totally go right. You know, but it's at that point where I can say I'm at that stage in my life. Well, I can look at everything and it's all about the lens that you choose to look at. You can look at everything and make it keep making you bitter. Oh, you know, this person did that. You know, this person, you know, it is easy for us to always talk about what the other person did. And there's and a lot of times, like I've said before, I didn't even realize that there would be times that I was victim blaming. I would be that victim vibration, you know. And then sometimes I could be doing it subconsciously and unsubconsciously. Now it's just like I'm being very careful on the verbiage I use, you know, the words I use, the energy that I, you know, I choose to want to project. E hell, even the energy that I choose to welcome in, I'm being very selective on what I choose to select. It's all about the choices you choose to choose, you know. And that's I'm at that vibe right now where I'm finding me every day. A new me every day you know the universe will put you in there while you're by yourself and a lot of times like I've said that before I hate it being by myself but that was like you have to be by yourself at times you know it's good you know because we're light workers that's what we do we're connecting with each other I can't wait until we get into that vibration of the world when we're all there for each other we all want to be happy for each other there ain't no motives there's not no cruel intentions we want to see everybody win if there's somebody slacking and they're trying to get that ability to keep moving we can pick somebody up and say come on we going you know if I'm seeing that you are trying to get there you know, and I can't wait until we get into that. But we're going through a lot of different rifts, you know, because there's a lot of people that's out there that want to see you win. And there's some people that say, oh, I want to see you win. But as soon as, you know, you ain't looking, they're going to put something right there in your way to make sure that don't happen. But that's okay, too. You know, because you always tend to learn through those moments of your life. You know, like, I, I, I mean, there's so many different times where you have gone through different things. And it can get to that point where you even carry that vibration. I'm tired of being disappointed. I'm tired of being that person that's always, you know, you can be that vibration like I'm always the bride maid and never the bride. You know, and it's just like the same way. You can always be that person to congratulating somebody on their blessing, but you haven't yet to see your own. And you know, and it's just the fact is, whatever God has promised you, whatever universe has promised you, whatever they don't place into your head that is going to be there for you, you know, there it's always been there. You're just aligning yourself to be able to in that strong connection to get there. And through that, it's learning. Through that is through experience. Through that is like you're going to fall. Okay. Are you going to have that courage to get back up? Or are you going to give every excuse about the reason why you fail? You know. And it's just like you can say that all day. Like oh I, I deserve this. I deserve that. But are you putting the words by the actions that you choose? You know that's why they always say that. You know. Don't always listen to what people say. Look at the actions they hold within that. And a lot of times the actions, hell, you got to be at that point now. You got to start looking at the vibrations they hold from the actions. Because nowadays, I see it. 
I see it all. You know, you can say one thing and then people be trying to, you know, cloak stuff with the actions. But that vibration they hold is like, is it something that's uplifting or is it something there that's going to be seeking, that's getting it that right, that opportunity just to seek and destroy, you know. And it can be different things, you know, when you're going through stuff. And it'll be, you know, different links that you listen to or different videos, especially if you're not a, a TV person. A lot of us is starting to get to that point, or a lot of us has always been that way, where you didn't watch a lot of TV. Now, since you woke, you don't watch a lot of TV. A lot of that stuff, you're not entertaining. A lot of things like, ooh, they ain't even part of my energy anymore. Let me not do that. Even people, ah, they ain't a part of my energy anymore. You know, there'll be certain things that you may find as interesting, but you'll notice the change within yourself, you know, like even the videos, I used to love li listening to about the different celebrity situations that's going on, especially if it's juicy or just message, just entertaining. And then it'll be the vibration like, ugh. You know, I notice that I'll just start doing something else. Like this ain't even, a, it, it, if it ain't bringing me any coins, in my, if it ain't giving me that bag that I need, why am I even entertaining this? This is somebody that's going in somebody else's household, just getting paid for being talked about. You know, let me go ahead and, you know, allow myself to go. It ain't make no movement in, in, in for me. It ain't making no movement for me. So I have to allow myself to just go ahead and disconnect and move. And you'll start noticing the change within yourself. You'll not start noticing the company you choose to change. You know, being comfortable about that. Where Where's your comfortability at? Is it, it into that point where you're starting to challenge yourself? Are you appreciating the, the, the um, uncomfortability that you're starting to have to go through? Because things can get very frustrating. You know, especially with all the downloads you're getting, you probably ain't even getting good sleep right now because things is being shook up right about now. You know, and there'll be different things that you'll come up like there'll be a whole lot of videos right now. There's a whole when I say when I start shifting, I start notice a lot of people on that same path I am on, and I'm I'm looking, and it could be a, a video or uh like somebody opening up a live and you and it will be something and then all of a sudden a certain person will come up to your hindsight that it was talking about and that's usually what they're telling you if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing because there'll be certain times they'll look and there'll be a certain person that'll come up and i was like wow okay and i'll learn from it and keep going not investing like girl i'm you know be talking to myself like girl i remember when that person did this this and this and that. no don't do that because you welcome them in there. Even if that person ain't there, you welcome them in that energy that they took you. Where all you supposed to do is experience that, learn from it, and keep moving. You know? And there'll be some times that we'll let things, you know, I, I've been there. I ain't even going to lie. You know, people know to connect with me. I've been there. I ain't even going to sit up here and say, oh, I'm not that type of person. I'm not even going to sit here and tell that kind of lie. I've been there where I've allowed things to occupy my mind. And that was what the enemy wanted. Oh, I want to shake her up. I want, you know, I want her to be staying focused on this. When all it is, it's like universe and destiny of the divine wanted you to experience this so you can learn. This is like a part of yourself because anything that you're coming in connection with is just a reminder of what you have forgotten. You know, because a lot of us, we, you know, all of us don't sign a, a, a contract on what we're, you know, what we're supposed to do. And it's just like, I don't know if anybody else has got, you know, drop a comment if you ever had this. Where you've been going through your epiphanies and your nostalgia and stuff like that. Even when you're going through those awakenings. Those, you know, the dark night of the soul, the kundalini. And it's like you see yourself as a spiritual being. You see all these different TVs of different things where it showed you all the stuff that you're going to go through. And see, back before then, when you did that, oh, shoot, nothing can shake you. You knew every lesson to every problem that went to solve. You know, we had 50 million got daggone gifts that we had. We were able to use at the same time. But then it was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sign this. Go ahead. Show me what to sign that. You weren't even paying attention to the fine print. And I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, we got this. What we going to do? World change. Change the impossible and the possible. We going to really just be, you know, just dropping bombs on folks of reality? Oh, okay. I got this. Okay. And next you know you got here, you didn't see the fine print. Well, you're going to erase everything you thought, everything that you knew before you did that, you're about to forget. Everything that you said you, you wanted to go ahead and choose, you chose your partner, you chose your birthday, you chose your, you, you know, your hardship, your family, all these different things. All that stuff about to be forgotten. We're going to leave you about one or two or three, even possible four, five, you know. Uh, gifts, spiritual spiritual blessings that you got that you know ain't really no well everybody got them. It's, it's some people 
aren't aren't choosing to do it or they choose to you know hey they, they choose to stay stuck that and that's their business but when you're going through that you know this is where it carries your purpose because there's a lot of times in life where you feel like you want to do something and you know it's not your thing it's not your word it, it, it's just like it's not fulfilling to you and you're like hey you know I like this at one time but now it just ain't my thing anymore. I ain't even excited about it anymore. And um, and it, it, it's just like really showing you something that you really didn't even know that you need to know, know about yourself. And it's like when you get disappointment that things didn't go your way. It's okay. Because usually if it didn't go your way, it's going to be a lot better. It's going to be something you ain't never imagined. It's something that you wanted so much in life. You know, if, it, if you may wanted something at that time. Universe say, yeah, we know you wanted this, but we know you deserve better. You may want all these different things in life. But then it's just like when you want all these different things in life, you may have had too many people in your life for you to be able to get these things. And the people that's in your life, they ain't going to be the ones that need to be there. Just like there's videos I put out there that's like there's only a certain access that people are supposed to have to you. There's only a certain vibration that you're supposed to be intended to towards that life. There's only uh, there are certain times that God will put you by yourself because He knows that the people that are around you, it, it can it can really damn whatever blessing that you got coming on into your life. And then when you go through that solitude, you finding out about yourself. You seeing your highs and your lows. You seeing your problematic situation, your vibrations you carry. You know where your thought process is. Where 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 is your gift at? Where's your get at? What is that thing that you that can you you know? Sometimes you got a good poking bear, and that one that you need to not <laughs> mess with. You know, and there there's that one where you know when I know it, it reminds me and my God bless my mama, God rest her soul. And she used to always tell me when you know you get tired of going through certain things, you're getting tired of dealing with certain situations, certain people. You know, just anything you gonna allow that 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 wild hair to be plucked and say you know what i'm gonna do what i need to do for myself and the things that i didn't know i need to do for myself even the things i don't feel like doing i'm about to do them even when i'm tired i'm gonna go ahead and give it the best of my ability even when i know i'm stepping into something my eyes wide shut god gonna give me the heart to have everything open that i need to have there's going to be a close to that purpose. And that's when you start discovering more about yourself. Bump all the excuses. You can give excuses about reason why you don't want to do stuff all day. You know. And then it gets to that point where, you know, I, I you be on that, 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 that discovery of where you're trying to heal. Where you're trying to see things from a different light. Where you're trying to get that understanding at. And there's sometimes you can get frustrated with people around you like, why don't you see that? Why don't you heal? Why don't you do that? You can't force nobody to do it because there was a point in time where you... We're being the same, somebody was saying the same thing to you and you weren't trying to hear it at that time because you knew everything what you knew right there at that time. You had everything what you needed to have. You had that clear light about where your life was going. And then when you had that hiccup and you were stuck and confused, broke, busted and disgusted, you know, all those different things into your life. It was like Miss Latoya said that. I love that lady. <laughs> it's like broke, broke, busted and disgusted. And you got like that. And then it got to that point where you needed that slap of disappointment into your life because it made you truly discover where you know there's going to be a lot of people in your life that's going to make you doubt yourself there's going to be so many people that because they see you they see you for who they you truly are and that's what they do not want you to discover there's a lot of people that are standing there there's people like when and i always tell people when they connect with me why rise when i go through a spiritual awakening i discover about myself all of a sudden negative things will come up like you need to end everything out including you you know everybody is out there you need to kill this person you need to do this this to yourself because you are awakening from that matrix and there is nothing that wants you that is not good for you is not going to want you to do that when you rise the darkness is rising with you when you stepping into your light there's something strongly stepping into the darkness you will always have a counterweight of what you're doing. There's going to be people that are going to admire you. And they're going to provide for you. They're going to give you. Hey you need to do this. You need to. I don't know. Something told me to tell you to do this. You know. And even in, at that time. And then all of a sudden they flip that switch on you. They're doing exactly what they needed to do. Everything that you're going through. And exactly 
God designed and all that the spiritual design for you to discover your purpose. That discovery of disappointment, it will be that destiny. Is that you know? It's designed. That's all them D's. That dis, that disappointment was leading you to discovery, for, to design your destiny, and that's what it was. You know, you finding your purpose. You seeing your highs and your lows. You you know there'll be times where oh yeah I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this and this and that. And when it comes time to do it, yeah I'll I'll, I'll I'll do it in five minutes or I'll do it in an hour. I'm doing that. And then next thing you know, that became your your routine every day. And next thing you know, uh, next thing you know. All of a sudden, stuff start getting real messed up. It start irritating you. Start doing this. And a lot of times you can even see that post or you'll see something. Sometimes God turn that heat up because he know you wouldn't move. You know, sometimes you'll have somebody, karma will even do it. When they showing you all caution signs that you need to leave certain people alone. You need to let it go. You need to disconnect. They will have that person shaming you, embarrassing you, making you feel like a zero when you felt like you were that hero. All those different things when they're showing you, you deserve better. I got something better. You're discovering better. And it's just going to get to that point where you can see that person and you may hate them. And you may despise them. No. I mean, I was at that point where I almost thought I was going to catch a charge for doing something. And I'm just like, no. I appreciate what that person has taught me. I appreciate what those people have done for me. Even though I they, they were a disappointment to me. And I was a disappointment to myself because I seen the disappointment that was going on in my life. And I wasn't allowing myself to admit to that and see it. But now it made me discover something in myself that that is not a part of my life anymore. I had to go through that. I had to experience that. I appreciate that. All those different things that came into my life. So whatever you're going through, don't allow those experiences to hearten you. Don't allow it to dishearten you. You know, there's going to be moments when you're depressed. There's going to be moments when you're sad, you're upset, you're going through things and they just feel like it's an avalanche of things. And it's like, it can feel like God is punishing you, you know, and I, I felt like that many of times. I had to be in here where I, you know, I was in here crying and saying I'm tired while I know that the en enemy of the energy was laughing and mocking at me. Yes, I wanted her to discount herself. I wanted her to doubt herself. I wanted her to feel like this is a part of her life and it's going to always be that way. You know, you have to you 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 know your destiny destiny in there when the devil is going to be playing in your mind like that. They're going to have people around you that's stuck and just like, "Why do I got to deal with that?" You need to deal with that. That's what is helping you discover about yourself. Devil don't want you to discover your power. Devil don't want you to be able to be normalized in, into your light of power. But when you start getting that, you're going to have, you know, I know I got people up in here watching my videos like, I really wish you go sit down and just be quiet. So I know I have that. And that's okay. That's okay. And I've actually had people out there to just like, you know what? I don't know what she's going through, but I'm glad she's going through it because it's helping me know I ain't the only one going through that myself. Because there's a lot of us that's going through that. There's a lot of us that's going through that. You know, and this is where you start discovering yourself minute by minute. Trust what's unfolding. You don't know what's unfolding, but it's some powerful stuff. And that's the same thing the enemy and the devil do not want you to discover. Something in yourself that you have your own mind. You have, you create your own energy of reality. You know, all those different things. There's going to be moments when you're sad. That's fine. There's going to be moments when you're just... You know, nothing can touch you. But when you get to that point, like even if it does touch you, it you know, I had to constantly tell myself, if if this in my mind and it's not something I control, I gotta get it out. You know, it's happening for a reason. Everything is happening for a reason. If it's a bad experience, it's a lesson or something that's gonna it's gonna take me to that next level. And that's how we have to be able to look at things. And that's how you have to be able to look at things. So appreciate those disappointments because it's helping you discover something in your life that you truly needed. You truly did. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video. And um, I want to give a post notification shout out to Tira Simone. Much love to you, sis. Uh, Kate, much love to you as well. Welcome to the fam. I don't know if I welcomed you or not, but, you know, welcome anyway. Um, I would love to give a, a post notification shout out to Chuck D. 
um, Wildflower and Jessica Walton much love to you as well um, if you're new to my channel welcome like I always say welcome please drop a line I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to learn me learn me know me you know I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below as well as um you know it is just for the fact of spiritual networking you know just being able to give you a deeper understanding about your paths a path of purpose you know discovering yourself you know there's a lot more of us out there that go through different things that people don't understand about us and you know we're discovering the fact is there there's a whole lineage of, of us we're coming into that beautiful family just to be able to know that and I love to be a part of somebody's purpose to be able to do that but I also also help out the best way I can and whatever we're talking about is discreet is confidential you know it stays there and if you ever feel that you're generous enough to drop a donation you know I'll also leave my cash up there as well and um what else what else was I supposed to oh yeah I'll leave my link to my podcast as well you know shoot I've been getting back on these different things I've been gone for a while before forget my intro my outro and my in between so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video I hope you have a blessed safe weekend because I know it's coming up to Friday Friday. I'm like, dang, this week just went by fast. It went by really fast. So whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I'm placing that vibration on you that is going to be so much bigger and better than you ever, ever imagined. So you keep going. You know, if things just feel like it's moving slow, it, it could be moving faster than it is. Just stay focused on getting through the day. Not how much your seed is growing because it, it, it can, you can be that, that main flower that's going through the concrete. So don't ever sit up here. You, you know, look at the harvest. Don't be looking at the day by day stuff. Just look at the harvest that you, you know, you investing in. So you keep going. Even if you need to take a break, take a break. You do that. But you keep going. Even if you fell off that horse, you get right back on it again. Don't use the excuse about why you fell off the horse. You get back on there and use the experience of the falling off that horse. Okay. And knowing it could be sooner. It can be right around the corner. So keep on moving, okay? And even um, through social distance, please, you know, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You just never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And it'll take you even further just because you took that time out to help somebody else do the same. And be safe and responsible with everything you do. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Namaste.